This video is about narcissists and their children. And of course, the children are trained to be narcissistic. So one example would be their son or daughter comes to them, right? Can my friend stay over for the night? Okay. The narcissist just texts the other parent of the person that the son wants to stay tonight or the daughter wants to stay tonight and just tells the other parent, well, by the way, your child, Jimmy or Ann, is going to be staying to my house or at my house, right? So you see the sick twist here, right? So you got the narcissist and him or her child and they're both disrespectful nobody ever asks the other parent well can this child stay the night right and this is just one example so one of the things empathetic people have we have a boundary right so first of all we're not going to tell you where your child is staying we're going to ask you if it's okay, right? And most likely, we won't communicate that by text. I'm not gonna text that to somebody, okay? I'd rather call. I'm not saying that just because someone does it in a text, they're all a narcissist, but if you're not on a business trip or you haven't specifically said text me only because I'm gonna be in this meeting or on this trip or I'm at work during these hours, so I can't talk. There's exceptions like that, right? But in general, I'm going to make a phone call, even if I leave you a voicemail, right? So, okay, you're like, okay, that's like a red flag to you that this person is telling you where your child's going to stay, right? Your child's just here tonight, like they, they mama or daddy, right? So then... I apologize, y'all. If y'all hear the sprinkler, that's um, the sprinkler, of course. And um, it's water in the beautiful gr grass. So anyway, so the next thing you know, your child has been gone three to four weeks now. Okay. Because the narcissist that just texted you and told you what your child is doing is training their child to be a narcissist. So now you need to go in a meeting with this narcissist and this corrupt, being misled child. It's not the child's fault that the child is corrupt. It's the parent's fault. So you're asked to go into a meeting to figure out when they're going to bring your child back. Hopefully you're not not so smart enough to go into that meeting. Hopefully you're saying to yourself, y'all can fuck off. Because first of all, you don't need to go check in with this narcissist child to get your child back. So in cases like this, deal with the damn police. I mean, the police is your wonderful angels at this point. The police and the courts. I mean, that's it. I mean, deal with it that way. Like, this is just one example of what narcissists do with their kids. And they won't see nothing wrong with it, y'all. I mean, instantly, if I tell you, instead of asking you, can somebody that you gave birth to or that you gave some sperm to to bring them here? I'm not going to feel right telling you that. But the narcissist is cocky and bold. And it may happen at a time where you're having a little trouble with your child or teenager anyway. Or your youth. So you're thinking, okay, I guess this person is trying to help me out. No. No. The narcissist and they're creating it to be a demon child because that's what they're creating. I mean, 
they're training their child up the wrong way to give their child that much power. Okay, and it's confusing to the child. And now the child has so much power, the narcissist becomes afraid or maybe hesitant to take their child's friend home because I don't know what to do with little Johnny or little Annie. He or she may kick my ass when their friend leaves. But why did the narcissist give the child that kind of freaking power in the first place? Do you get it? Like, this is the narcissistic stuff that narcissists do with their kids. Because at the end of the day, and some may take offense to this, right? Guess who the real child really is? Guess who's really immature? Emotionally and mentally. It's the narcissist adult, okay? And so much happens in these situations. You know, I was just learning about a situation today where I was talking to a brother and not a biological brother, but like a brother and sister, someone that loves the Lord, right? He was just saying there was a situation where it was a runaway situation and the parents were not in agreement with their daughter staying with these people, right? Their son or daughter, right? And guess what happened, y'all? The people that was harboring the child as a runaway, the child tried to commit suicide. So the state had to get involved and stop that other parent from harboring that runaway. And they had to give that runaway back to their biological parents. So see, it's all about the narcissist and how they deal with children. I mean, first of all, the narcissist is struggling with raising their own children. So they're just adding to their problem by bringing somebody else's child in, thinking that they can actually emotionally take care of this child. I mean, many narcissists will not have a financial problem taking care of 200 children. But can they give those 200 children the emotional and mental and spiritual support that they need? Hell no. How can somebody with no freaking boundaries help raise children? They can't. I mean, it just won't work. In the long run, it just won't work. So that's just how it's going to be. So narcissists and their children. I got a million more examples for y'all, okay? I study a lot. I listen a lot. I communicate. I love talking to people in person. And I just love it. And so I just got so many examples for you, you know. I can't never mention nobody's name, but as I hear and come across these situations, some things I've been through, some things I've heard, some things I've seen. I've seen and heard a lot, y'all. So I keep my ears open to what I hear and what I see. And it's just amazing, you know what I mean? Um, it reminds me of this situation that I was in, in McDonald's, right? Um, it was one of the most traumatizing things I've ever seen or heard in my entire life, right? Um, man, I mean, yeah, I just had a flashback of that situation. I'll do a video about that. I got a really... Um, for that video, I'm going to have to take a few notes because it's pretty deep. It's um, Lifetime movie deep. Okay. But I was there, heard it and seen it. 
um, I almost dropped to the, my heart and my soul like dropped to the ground. Periodically, I think about this family and I wonder what happened to them. So I'll talk about that later. That's definitely a video where I'm not gonna do that video outside while I'm walking because it's so graphic. I would definitely have to be in a more private location. If I did do it outside, I may go to like the park at night or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out, but I can't do it out here because like I said, it's too graphic. And of course, the man or woman that was doing this activity that I'm gonna tell you about in another video, they were definitely more than a narcissist. It was a very sick situation. And um, like I said, periodically, I wonder what happened to that particular family. And um, I pray that the victim and those children are okay. So anyway, please like, share, and subscribe. And this is what it's about on this video, narcissists and their children. So anyway, please like, share, and subscribe. And I got so much more coming. I will never run out of content, y'all. Never, never. And you know why? I upload things that's not just about narcissism, okay? That's another reason I'll not run out of content. I mean, check out my shorts. I got my shorts and I upload things that um, have to do with other things. Just like tonight when I was out eating, I did a couple of shorts on the pillows I liked in the restaurant and the beautiful artwork that was there. So, you know, I do things, it's not just about narcissism, it's about living life too. Check out my playlist because go to my soft music for you and check out my music. I love old school music and music that's cultural, that's great. And just check it out. Okay, you might want to watch one of my videos and then play some good music. I created that playlist. You know, I know you got your YouTube playlist of the specific videos like you can go to a playlist of songs from the 70s 80s 90s or whatever right but i actually created my own playlist and shared it with you under my playlist so oh i'm back by the sprinkler y'all i walked around and came back here to water that grass looks so green and pretty y'all I want to record it, but it's in front of somebody's door, so I can't be recording somebody's door like that. I mean, it got their apartment number and or home number or whatever you want to call it. So anyway, um, yeah, just um, please like, share, and subscribe, and narcissists and their children. I got more examples coming for y'all. I got all kind of examples because... Like I tell you all the time or every blue moon, my videos are telling a story. We can talk about the traits of narcissism all day long. We know what the traits are, anger, resentment, jealousy, sadness, depression, a deep feeling of deadness within them, never being content, mad on the inside tired of being fake just can't do it no more the mask has to come off i mean we could talk about all of those things but what are the examples i mean sometimes i believe when i give these examples some of y'all might say oh that's what's happening because some of these examples are close to your real life situations and what you're going through in your life right and once you understand narcissism and understand the evil behind it, you will stop whooping ass, y'all. You will be calmer. You will understand 
let me contact my lawyer, okay? Because I know y'all get tired of me talking about prison, but it's so many people in prison dealing with these bastards, okay? Because their lack of boundaries and their disrespectful crap pushes good people to the edge and they just snap. So you can't do that though. Just, you gotta do things the right way. Even in a situation like I used in this example, narcissists and their children, you just gotta put your teenager or youth in as a runaway. And then you're gonna have some flying monkey, you know what we call, or the narcissist helpers, I don't like using that flying monkey word. I don't want to be offensive because um, a lot of people can take that the wrong way, calling people monkeys. But the narcissist naive helpers will be calling you. Well, can you take your child out as a runaway? Fuck no, because he or she ain't home. And they're over there with a narcissist and him or her freaking child. And they're not supposed to have their ass there. And you got to remember this. Another reason when a child walks off or is in a situation like that and the child is willingly staying in that situation, you got to have them as a runaway. And this is why. If something goes down, somebody get hurt, killed, injured, anything happen, you're not liable for that shit who's liable for it once you place them as a runaway is that narcissist, their child, and whomever else is involved, or mainly the adult narcissist at the end of the day. So this is what it's about, narcissists and their children. And we could never fathom letting our child or at least condoning it. The thing is letting children you're not always letting them do anything. A lot of times they're going to do what they want to do, especially disobedient children, children that are not following the Ten Commandments, honoring thy mother and father. They're going to do it. But a freaking adult doesn't have to co-sign that bullshit. And that's the sad thing when you got an adult, a freaking narcissist co-signing the bullshit that these children do. We understand why children do it, but you got to start understanding more why a narcissist does it. They're more mentally unstable than the fucking child, y'all. It's the bottom line. That narcissist is infant level. I think infants have more sense because guess what? An infant, they have intuition. If they hear a noise, they jump. They might not can say, oh, what was that yet? But they jump, y'all. Watch an infant that's sleeping in a car seat or in their crib and a loud noise is in the room. They, they flinch, they jump. More instinct than that narcissist, right? The infant will know not to text you no freaking shit like that. I mean, because <laughs> the infant is blessed that they can't text yet. And we wish sometimes that that narcissist had that blessing. Like, fucking freaking, why can't the narcissist not know how to use their fingers at that moment? You don't wish they didn't have no fingers, but you wish that they had the common sense not to text you no bullshit. Or you wish that they had the common sense to not let their kid do whatever the hell they want to do and not even think nothing's wrong with it. And a narcissist will tell you, especially when they're training their child to be a narcissist, they will tell you, well, my son or daughter asked for it. Sure fucking did. Yeah. My son or daughter, they wanted this. They mean something to this life. Fuck yeah. I mean, crazy, man. I mean, and you know what? I've been in situations 
where when a narcissist said some bullshit or did some bullshit, I don't care if it's when I hung up the phone. I don't hang up on people. I'll always say goodbye. Hanging up to me, and this is just my thing. Hanging up on people says to me, I didn't know what to say or they had power. I never give anybody that much power. You think that, or some people think that when they hang up on somebody, it's giving them power, but it's actually showing that you don't know how to exit a conversation. Hanging up on somebody is rude, y'all. And think about it this way. If it was your last moment on earth, would you feel comfortable hanging up or would you want to end it with the, you know what, thanks, have a great life or day. I appreciate you, ma'am or sir. End it like that. Because I've been hung up on before, not often. Oh, y'all hear the airplane? I don't know why I like that. I like hearing the planes when I'm doing a video sometimes. It kind of, <laughs> it's a good energy. Yeah, it's a good energy. And you know what's good about it? It didn't fall. It didn't crash. I'd be real happy about that, y'all. Check this out, y'all. Let's look at this moon. See the moon? I don't know if you could see it that good. Well, it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of doing its own thing. But anyway, that's the moon. So, and I see the stars up there. It's so beautiful. So sorry about the noise. You know, for me, hearing a little background noise motivates me, y'all. I mean, y'all might think I'm a little strange. Yeah, I'll take that. But my strangeness keeps me on this channel, you know? And I'm taking my strangeness and using it for my benefit to help somebody. I appreciate the nice comments, y'all. And please like, share, and subscribe. And this is about narcissists and their children. Feel free to leave some comments about your situations or a situation or somebody else's. I love to hear detailed comments about situations, you know? So anyway, again, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so, so much. Bye.